I shouldn't say boys because I just I should say men because we're looking for men, not boys, right? <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today, okay? So just keep watching if you're interested. Tip number one, tell the boy exactly what you're looking for. What I mean by this is personality, religion, if you smoke or you drink, or guys that will fit your lifestyle and your personality. So if you talk to this guy and he's really attractive, but he smokes and he parties and he drinks. You know, if he's not in school, if that's important to you, and if he doesn't have a job, then you might not want to talk to that guy anymore. I'll have a casual conversation, but like that first day or that first conversation, those things will come up. And if they say, yeah, I'm not really religious, or I do smoke a lot, or I party a lot, then, then I'm not going to be talking to them anymore. And it's just simple. It's a good way to just get all those guys out immediately and like not talk to them for weeks and then finding those things out and then being like oh I just wasted all the, that time talking to this guy who has like no interest with me. If you want to value your time because you're important and you should value your time then you shouldn't be like small talking and like flirting on this like first conversation and not finding out important things to you. So step number two, don't hang out with them right away. I like to talk to them a little bit first and get to know them because again, time is valuable and I don't want to get ready and see this guy who probably is not like for me. I don't want to like waste makeup and everything for this guy that's probably just looking to hook up. I like to talk to this guy for at least like a week consistently just to find out that he's actually a good guy and he's taking it seriously just like you and then I would meet up with him and get to know him more in person. I don't like when I talk to guys on a dating app and the first thing they say is like oh you want to meet up tomorrow? It's like no I don't want to meet up with you tomorrow because what if you're a serial killer? <laughs> uh so step number three tip number three Maybe bring a friend with you. Go on a double date or something. If you're like a little nervous and you don't want to like go out with this guy by yourself, either go to a public place or bring a friend with you. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of like backlash with all these tips I'm giving you, especially this one, because they're like, what the heck? Like, well, how am I supposed to get to know someone if I'm with my best friend? You really can find out a lot from someone if you're with like your friends. For example, it's really important to me that you're a social person and if you can't talk to my best friend or like goof around with me and your friends, it's probably not gonna work. I think I'm on number four. Set your boundaries, be tough, and know what you want. This is important. I feel like girls don't really do this enough, which is like kind of sad. You need to be aggressive with guys. I feel like they don't listen exactly when you say it the first time. They might think you're like joking. They you need to lay down the law and tell them that you're serious because I feel like guys just don't like take you seriously. It's like a game. Set your boundaries, be straightforward, be aggressive with them, and if they do something that you don't like, freaking tell them. No, that's not who I am. That's not how I was raised. Probably like the biggest thing is to be straightforward with people. This also goes for guys too with girlfriends. This could be for anyone, any relationship at all. Be straightforward with the other person. Be honest, be loyal, be consistent. People will tell you that your your standards are too high. Everyone has flaws. Everyone's like not perfect, but you're gonna find a person that's perfect for you. You're gonna find that person when you're not really expecting to find them. Enjoy life, enjoy being single, focus on yourself, and when the right person comes at the right time, they will come and you will live happily ever after. Yeah! Being in a relationship isn't the most important thing in the world. You need to love yourself first before you can go find a person to love. Wow, that was really good. Thank you, Olivia. How are you supposed to love someone if you don't love yourself first? Yeah. So I hope you enjoy my relationship advice. And I know you guys might think that like my channel isn't very fitness based, but I like to talk about mental health and being mentally fit. 
and physically fit. I hope you really, you guys really enjoy this video and I hope these tips helped you to not be pushed around and to find what you want and to just not stress so much about the whole relationship thing. If you like this video and if these tips helped you, please like this video. Keep supporting me and subscribing me. Comment down below on what you want to see next and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.